This is going to be the last kickboxing fight of the night as Shiggy Julian Connerton making his third walk to the cage, Titans cage, fourth walk to the kickboxing realm. Coming to us from Evolution Athletics. And uh, this, this is one of the more experienced fights on the card. Kickboxing has kind of taken over the Muay Thai ranks. Muay Thai ranks have really just thrown themselves into the mix of entertainment in the combat sports world since they've been integrated into Cage Titans. And Julian Connerton has been a staple here, putting together some big knockout wins and exciting uh, back and forth fight with Will Asia last time out. Uh, he stayed busy for as young as he is at just 22 years of age, and he's really jumping up in terms of experience here when he's taking on Anthony Scott with close to 15, he's got 15 kickboxing fights already uh, Muay Thai fights already under his under his belt does Anthony Scott and Julian Connerton coming in to his fourth there was a lot of uh, back and forth about what weight this fight was going to be held at mm -hmm. Connerton trying to make his way down to 50 but when an opponent makes his way up at 160 pounds him and his team at Evolution Athletics said, yeah, And that's uh, just a testament to Absolutely. anybody, anytime, anywhere. For this and, young if you, man. and if you really want to measure, he's definitely a, a person with more, much more experience. Young in his career, and so if he takes a loss here, what does it matter? New to the sport, you know what I mean? That Win, lose, or draw here, this is a great idea for, for a young, inexperienced fighter that's looking to take himself. Yeah, you know, and Carson, the guy who came out strong with that, uh, his first fight was a highlight reel knockout. Uh, and then in the second fight, he had to figure out the uh, the puzzle that is Will Asia. Yep. And uh, he was able to win that one as well. So this guy has two big victories in our case settings page. And Anthony Scott walking out to the Nuge. <laughs> Can't hate that either. Like I said, he's sitting with a record of nine and six. Already 15 Muay Thai kickboxing fights under his belt. A fight out of Red Seal, Sean Schubert and Sean Graham will be in his corner. So it's like very highly he's decorated. By some dogs. Some no dogs. And you know, that experience is going to shine through. You know, and, uh, 15 fights is nothing to scoff at. That's a lot of cage time. absolute warrior filled camp so I'm excited to see these two meet in the middle and I think that Anthony Scott cut some weight for this he's looking like he's really going to have a sizable size advantage here so Connerton undeterred unfazed in there to fight no matter what as we get Thank you. 
his opponent, staying across from him in the blue corner. With an amateur Muay Thai record of nine victories and six defeats, he stands six feet one inch tall, and he weighed in at 160 pounds. that Muay Thai action. All right, he's too ready to get busy. Full of energy in the red corner here from Julian. We ready to get jiggy with it. Walking out to get jiggy with it. Julian already chirping at one of his opponent's corners. Yeah, I don't know what we're that was about. Jiggy throwing a leg kick early. Definitely got the size disadvantage, so he's got Jiggy. Julian can't stand right. This is probably more of a, a better a clinch idea than him, but he cannot stand in front of a taller guy. Nope. Anthony Scott taking a jab in there. Whoa, that's a nice light kick. Went low with the calf and timed it beautifully. Good as he was coming in. Another, another good one. one. Switching stances a lot. It might be confusing Anthony a little bit. I like the way that uh, Julian Connerton is kind of shelling and countering with three, four strikes. He knows he's going to have to put some blitzes together against the larger man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's really pushing the pace here, too. I really also like how he's Ooh, taking yeah, the fight. That was a good knee right up the middle there from Anthony. Up a weight class, despite the size disadvantage here. It's really making him work and earn it and, if, and if, try new avenues to get a victory. If I'm Anthony Scott, clearly right now, Julian has more energy, right? He's clearly bouncing around, kind of dictating where this fight is going. Big brother him. Start yep. getting on him, standing in the clinch, make him get heavy, slow him down, then make him stationary. If he keeps following him around the cage, he's gonna end up getting clipped though, like with good good leg kicks, pardon me. Just like that one. He's gotta cut him off or engage the clinch a little bit. Landed a nice head kick a moment ago, and Connerton was able to counter with a couple of punches. So Connerton really looking like volume there as is. part of his Boy, game. Very, very close uh -huh. there. Uh -huh. Looks like uh, it just missed. Connerton looking it. up at the clock. Never a good sign. He's got a little blood coming from the nose, this Connerton. Oh, nice jab. Good jab. Anthony Scott has had a great jab yeah. all around. Good job nice clinching. Elbow. Nice good elbow. elbow there. Scott's Perfect. Doing, you see the composure on Anthony Scott's face. You see yep. the experience. Very what patient. I, I like the IQ that... Julian Connerton was displaying there. Bouncing around on the outside, keeping that low kick, peppering in against the larger man. That's the biggest target that you can get. The exact way you need to fight a larger man who's only throwing pop shots at you, which is kind of what Anthony Scott is doing. But as a traditional Muay Thai stance and fighter, he's probably pacing himself, finding the openings, being and we'll very see, if he's, yep. see if he's opening up more as it goes. So, and to counter what you're saying, the beginning of the round seemed like it was going more for Julian because of your, those points exactly. It seemed like with a little bit more patience towards the end of the round, and stalk his opponent a little more as it got a little bit more tiring. For the second round, I feel like we're going to see Anthony start to pick it up a little bit more. All right, round two underway. A lot of confidence coming from Julian. Julian in the yellow trunks, the maroon and gold for Anthony Scott. Good Julian kick there. with another low kick. He's going to start checking those, because that that's going to make his jab less effective. And Anthony Scott already putting a little bit more pop in that jab. Mm -hmm. Julian's doing the right thing, trying to chop at that run for lead leg, though. He can't stand square against the cage, though. That's where Anthony's going to start to open up. Yeah. Anthony, and Anthony's oh. jab has opened up the nose of Julian Connerton. That looks like it's bleeding quite a considerable and amount. See, this is where the experience is shining through, because you see yeah. Julian just threw a big, windy spin kick. But you see Anthony, he's going one, one, two, one, two, T. 
know, things like that. Very simple, and it's conserving energy. Simple works. Don't try and do big things, especially if there you're is. tiring. See, there we go. Connerton yeah. covering up, trying to find avenues to throw counters. He's taking a lot and of these measure. on the arms, but Anthony yep. Scott is doing a great job piecing together some good work. And very controlled. You know, you get, uh, you take a lot of those on the arms. He backed up and reset. There's nothing wrong with disengaging. Nice uppercut. And Anthony's starting to stalk him here. He's oh, really there pushing him into the corner. Like you mentioned earlier, big brother in him. Yep. Big brother he's in him. Trying to he's too tired. And, and that nose is bleeding. He might be having a hard time uh, breathing through that thing right now. He's leaking right now from staying, his from Staying his nose. tough, initiating the clinch, trying to change up the pace is Julian 40 Bonneville. seconds is a lifetime. Julian's got to get off the cage. He's, he's got a blood mustache right now. Way. <laughs> Blood it does. Back. I've never seen that. I've never seen that either. I mean, we're going to get blood on right, right here as we get an uppercut. Hey, man, I like this shirt, Julian. you got to move, brother. Kick, watch the head kick coming. There it is. There you go. Nice. Yeah, Anthony 14 Scott. seconds. Anthony Scott is beating him up here. Referee giving him every opportunity. He's going to give oh, him a standing he's eight giving here. He's giving him a standing eight here. Yep. And that's going to take us to the end of the round, it looks like, since yep. you don't stop the clock on a standing eight count. So not quite saved by the bell, but I don't know if they give a time out. Do they time out for this? They there should. it is. Okay, there it is. Yep. Okay. So that was the longest eight seconds. Ending the round with a standing wow. eight count makes it a 10-8 round in the technical scoring criteria of Muay Thai for so Anthony best, Scott. If you did score, score the first round for Julian, we're looking at a draw right now. If Julian, if Julian were to win the next round. Yeah. Oh, it's, hopefully it's not broken, but he might be having a hard time breathing, especially with the energy output here. Uh, Anthony Scott's doing a, a great job. This is a great... Great approach here. That guy said he started to pick it up, kept it simple, kept the pace, and he kept his range. Anytime that he's, uh, Julian started to get too close to him, he reset and came. He's got a on the pace on Connerton, and that's he's really using his height and reach advantage against Connerton. Yep. And he's going to make some serious adjustments in this David and Goliath matchup, if you will. The big size difference is quite evident. Hard, hard from Julian, you know what I mean, as a, as a barbarian for coming in here and fighting a man this long. Doesn't take away from the performance of, oh, of Anthony Scott. Look at him go for going for the high kick right out the gate and a spin. Connerton might feel Eight. like he's down on the scorecards here he's and trying, trying to go for a finish. He might need it. Boy! Look at him with the... Oh, that one oh, big one. Oh, yeah, oh they stopped the it. Yeah, yep. I'm not, I'm not, much I'm not, I'm not mad at that, that yeah, stoppage. That. Makes sense. Uh, the way that that jab stung Connerton and the follow-up uppercut from, from, uh, from Anthony Scott there. And, Ending the round with the standing eight count gave, gave Julian Connor did a chance to really come out and, and make an impact in the third round, but Anthony Scott persistent with his attack. We do have to remember this is amateurs. These are amateurs. Exactly. The referee's job is the fighter safety first. Absolutely. And, um, you know, we're not we're not making tough. Begin the round, he started to fold his knees buckled. That's a good that's a good call. Yeah, the knees were buckling. It looks Great like the, it looked like the uh, the comment. Like we said, that, that, uh, that experience, um, rash, etc. 
excited fighter was going to come out real heavy. And then towards the end of the first round, he's... Very, very, very experienced approach.